So apart from the annual autumn release of Football Manager, there's one date as FMers get really excited about. And I don't mean the official winter update. I mean the annual release of the Retro Database mod by the Mad Scientist. And this time, he's really smashed it going back to one of my favourite eras of football, the 1998-99 season. So in today's video guide, we're going to be looking at how to install and run this Retro Database. We're also going to look at how to install Retro Logos, Retro Kit Packs and some Player Faces, and a little something extra to make your Retro Save more engaging, more engrossing for the long term. But you're going to have to stick around to the end of the video to find out what that is. But first of all, what is the 98 90 Retro Database. This is a painstaking recreation of the footballing world as it was just after France 98. So here we see a Premier League with the likes of Blackburn, Charlton and Coventry City in it. We go to the Manchester United team and we see players like Peter Schmeichel here, Roy Keane in his prime, Andy Cole, Dwight York up top, and who could forget David May and Wes Brown. Yeah, there was life before Phil Jones. Now in England, this goes down to the old second division. So no championship, it's the English first division and the second division as well. We've even got the Coca-Cola Cup. We've also got the top divisions playable here for France, Germany, Portugal, Scotland, Spain, Italy gets Serie A and Serie B. So we look at somewhere like Inter, we see we've got the classic logo here. Got a 21-year-old Ronaldo to play with and a teenage Pirlo. Guardiola, he's still Josep Guardiola here. And this has all been recreated by going back to the old Championship Manager 3 and looking at the player stats there. So how do you install this glorious piece of footballing nostalgia? If you're watching this video shortly after its release in early February, you can get early access by heading to Mad Scientist Patreon, the link is in the description, and become a supporter at any tier. If you're watching this in late February 2023 or after, you can find the download links on the official Mad Scientist website. Again, links in the description. However, even if the database is free when you're watching this, I still suggest you go and support the Mad Scientist on Patreon. You will see there's an incredible amount of work and detail that's gone on to this, and he deserves our support. So on both the website and the Patreon, on page you're going to find two download links one for a save file that you can just drop in and the game's already set up for you or another one for the editor file in case you want to make any tweaks so you can see i've got those two files in my downloads folder and we're going to have a look at how to get both of them up and running so this one earlyaccess.fm this is the save game file so all we're going to do with this is we're just going to copy and paste this all right, so we've got the game all started up. So if you just hit load game, you'll see it right there at the top. So you just click on that. Only takes a few seconds and it brings you right into the ad manager screen. So I'm just going to use my usual profile. So you just pick your team. In 1998, I was a student in Newcastle. So that's who I'm going with. And so here we are. If we take a look at the team, you're going to see some old names, some blasts from the past. Warren Barton. Wow, what a player to start with. Rob Lee, the late great Gary Speed, to Murray Gutzbeier, Alan Shearer, Duncan Ferguson. Fantastic. But what if you want to tweak the game a little bit? You only want to load some of the leagues or you want to play around with the number of players, get it working on your PC. Well, that's where we're going to use the editor file. So again, we are going to copy paste this, but this time we're going to documents, sports interactive, football manager 2023. And we want to put this into the editor data folder. You'll see I've got lots of things in there because I've been working on my international competitions. But all right, that's in there. And now we go back to our game and we're going to click start new game this time. Career, obviously. And then here where it says database, we want to make sure that we have just got this file chosen. So scrolling down, you can see here, I've got another file here selected from, I'm doing a rebuild of the Copper America, more on that in a future video, but we want to deselect that. I wouldn't recommend using any other mods with this particular database, otherwise you're just going to risk messing things up. So then we hit advanced setup and it will bring up the kind of usual screen for selecting leagues. It does, by the way, take a while to do this because it's currently loading in the thousands upon thousands of changes that this database mod brings in. All right, so that took a couple of minutes, but all the changes are loaded in now. And we see on the active league screen with England, it does say third division. Now, as I click here, it does still say Vanarama National, but as that is not one of the leagues that the Mad Scientist has worked on, 
I think it's best just to leave it at third division. If you click on add remove leagues, you will see all the usual leagues are available. But remember, the official ones that have been added are the German Bundesliga, League Un, um, Portugal, other leagues are not in there. There may be others added at some point. So if you're doing this, setting this up for yourself, just make sure that you've only picked those leagues that have actually been added to this database. All right, so I think we've got that set up correctly. Then, of course, you can play around here with database size suiting your playing requirements and of course you can set all the advanced options at the bottom and then just start your game and again you might find this will take a little bit longer than it does when you set up a standard game all right so once again we add our manager and pick our team so this time let's head over to italy we'll go for Serie A, and i'm going to choose inter and you can see why just look at that team we've got baggio We've got Ronaldo, we've got Jorkaev. What a team this is. But wait, what if we want to make this retro experience more realistic with logo packs? Well, for that, we're covered as well. If you head over to the Mad Scientist FM Wix site, and then just scroll down to here, you can see the retro logo pack and the retro kit pack. So they've both got download links. This will take you to media fire where you can just download them then you're going to get two raw files retro kits and retro logos now obviously you're going to unzip these into your documents football manager 2023 graphics folder but before we do that there is another important step we're going to have to take Yeah, because in my graphics folder i've got things installed here already and probably most of you have as well i've got some kits here i've got the tcm logo pack i've got the stadium pack and so on all things to add to my game of football manager 2023 that's starting from 2023 but of course we don't want these to clash with our 9899 retro database packs so we're gonna have to it's a bit of a pain it's a bit of a fiddle but we're gonna have to move these out of the graphics folder for when we want to play the 9899 database so what i do is i just come back to documents here and i just create a folder so i'm just going to do that now new folder and i'm just going to call it fm graphics backup but anyway we've got that in there and i'm going to create a couple of folders in here as well all right so one for the 9899 files when i'm not using them one for the fm23 files when i'm not using them yeah so for now i'm just going to move the kits and that logo mega pack out of there you might want to remove the stadiums. I don't know if there is a retro 9899 stadium graphics pack, but if there is one, let me know in the comments. And then we just come to our FM graphics backup folder, FM23 backup, and I'm just going to paste them into there. They're back in the graphics folder now. We see that those have gone. So we go back to download. So we're just going to unzip these files here. So retrokits.rar. So we've ignored the prompt to buy WinRAR. We select that and extract to. And then we just go to documents, of course, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2023, and Graphics. Just hit OK and let it do its work. And the same process for retro logos. This is going to take a little bit longer because, you know, the logos usually do. All right, so that's finally done. If we just go and check our documents folder. So we go into Football Manager 2023 graphics and we see they're there, the 9899 kits and logos. All right, so we're now back in the game. What we want to do now, you can do this after you've loaded the file or you can do it here from the start screen. You come to preferences. So we want to come up to advanced and we're going to look at interface so we just want to scroll down a bit to these skin options here and just scroll past them so make sure this use caching to decrease page loading times is off then also make sure reload skin when confirming changes and preferences is ticked to on and then we're going to click on reload skin okay so this is just going to take a few seconds so this is just the game checking that graphics folder and picking out all of those new files hopefully so you can see right there we've gone back to the classic inter milan logo yeah and going to the inter club screen page we see up here we've got the classic pirelli sponsor on the kits and look here Serie A as well it's the old Serie A logo with the ball and the writing wrapping around it and arsenal with the iconic dreamcast and sega partnership but anyway that's logos that's kits and what player faces you say right well player faces are available but this is where the community kicks in it's not through the mad scientist fm website or patreon page instead we have to go over to a different patreon page a creator called jomo who deals in all sorts of custom face packs 
Now, you can, of course, choose to support him with a membership if you wish, but he has also made a limited number of player faces available um, as a free version, as you can see here. So it says it's just over 2,000 pictures for free from all of the top clubs, all of the top players. If you want to go into even more depth with over 5,000 faces, that's where you need to be a paid up Patreon. But we can just download this file, at which I've already done. You can see it here. You can you can do this while your game's running in the background as I have. So we've got here uh, 9899 database Jomo free. So same thing as with the others. We're going to use WinRAR to unpack it. And we just extract to that FM23 graphics folder once again. All right, so this one's pretty speedy. It's already done. So this is how you do this in-game. You could just go from this FM drop-down menu to preference. And then again, just those same two options. So use caching is unselected, reload skin is selected, and then we reload skin or hit confirm. And there you go. We've got some of the faces in now. We've got Wenger in, we've got Bergkamp and Canoe. And once again, I would recommend removing any existing face packs you've got from that graphics folder and backing them up somewhere else. But anyway, this is all great, but surely, you know, after a few seasons, you're going to start getting regens flooding into the game and that kind of retro nostalgia is just going to start dropping off, right? Wrong. There is another community mod that I'm going to show you now. This is a surprise I was talking about that's going to program in future regens. So those young stars that come through in the early 2000s, like Wayne Rooney, they are going to be loaded into the game. So this is all thanks to this community member, Warrantini, who has created this retro player mod regen mod. You can download it here from his Twitter, or we can go to the Mad Scientist FM's website, and you can see there's a download click for it here as well. Now, I am actually going to exit my game of Football Manager for this one because... This is a little bit more complicated than the ones we've done so far. So we've downloaded this file here called supportstaff.edt. Now it is going to get a little bit complicated here, so clear your mind, make sure you focus, watch and listen carefully, and hit that subscribe button, because remember that helps you concentrate more. Now for this one, we're actually going to be delving into program files. Now of course I play on Steam if you're using Epic Games or the PC version of Xbox Game Pass, you'll just find the relevant install folder for it. So then we've got to find Steam apps, then we go to common and then we should find here Football Manager 2023. Then we've got to keep going into the folders. So data, then next database, DB and 2300. And then we go to EDT and permanent. So this is where we need to be. We've finally made it there. You may have been here before when you've been trying to get the German national team or the Japanese national team to load up properly. But you see here, there is already a file called supportstaff.edt. Now we've got two options here. We can copy paste in our new file and just overwrite this one, or we can back this one up like we did with our graphics packs so we can Put it back in later. Now I am going to do that, so I'm just going to cut and paste this into that same folder, FM Graphics Backup. I'm just going to drop it here. This isn't an essential file. I, I believe this is one of those files that adds some people into the game, and usually it's people who work for SI, some programmers and some researchers and things like that who appear in the game as players or staff down the line. So it's not an essential file. You can live without it. But anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to switch to my downloads folder. So we are just going to uh, cut and paste this into that location. So there you go. It's going to paste in now. You see it's a much larger file than the one we removed. One thing I would say at this point though, and you've just got to remember this, you'll have to make a mental note somewhere. Make a mental note somewhere. Wouldn't that be in your brain? You don't want to leave this here for when you next play a regular game of Football Manager 2023. So if you're not playing with the 9899 database and you leave this in, 
you're going to end up with Wayne Rooney appearing down the line and possibly meeting his older self, Wayne Rooney, as a manager, and then, you know, the world's just going to be destroyed. All right, so I'm recording this bit the next day, hence the different outfit, just to test that that regen mod has worked. So if we look at the Premier League here, I've gone like 12 seasons into the future, left it holidaying overnight. If you look at the top scorers, you'll see here we've got a certain Luis Suarez who's come up. So Uruguayan player, he's aged 23 here, so we can see that it works. We can see that he starts out in Nacional in Uruguay, but then he gets picked up by Arsenal in this particular save. Okay, here's a strange one. Wayne Rooney's at Liverpool, of all places. We can see started out at Everton, of course. Ipswich, Hamburg, and then Liverpool. He hasn't quite become that out-and-out -out goal scorer. Not many seasons in double figures, but, you know, he's there. And here's the GOAT recreated. Lionel Messi at Argentina. As a right winger, we can see he's been playing for the national team. If we check out his Barcelona record, he's a first-team regular. And it just goes on and on. We've got here Radamel Falcao in this particular universities at Roma having moved over from River and he's having a pretty good career by the looks of things and one more for now perhaps the most successful of these regens to come through yeah a 21 year old Lewandowski he's at Barcelona so you know things are happening in a different sequence but they're the right kind of thing 46 appearances and 24 goals for Poland already and we can see he even found time to go to Bayern Munich so having holiday forward 12 seasons we've got a mix of veterans who've come forward from the 98 99 database plus those new talents coming in now we're going to go back to past me to wrap up the video so we've covered a lot in this video that is how you get the 98 99 database working that is how you install the retro logo pack the retro kits the retro player base pack and how you ensure that the stars that flood the game after the late 1990s still exist so please drop a like if you found that useful leave any questions in the comments and make sure you go and support the mad scientist fm over on patreon follow him on twitter as well check the video description for links to all the files i've shown you today and the mad scientist fm's discord if you want to get in touch with him directly and finally let me know which team you're going to manage first with this database and check out more of my guides for adding mods to FM right here.